have you plunged again in spheres and in clouds you wanna flee? How I wish you stayed with me. You're the soul of all my years. To no end the sun rivers you're piling in your head, distant plains of which we read, and the sea that's dark and quivers. The old pyramids are charming, point directly to the sky. You don't need to search so hard for your happiness, my darling. This is what the girl is sad, gently playing with my hair. Oh, she said a truth so rare, and I laughed and shook my head. Come, the woods are full of peace, and the springs flow down the vale, while the rocks about to fail in the stately precipice. And the glade, with our dreams near the lake as a blue stream, and beneath the reeds so green we will lie on barren leaves. There you will tell me many stories, and a lot of lies I feel. I will snatch a chamomile, try to dismiss my worries. And the sun will be so violent, and I'll be so red and fair, I'll straighten my golden hair for a while to make you sigh. If you want to kiss my lips, no one in the world will know, cause you're lying here below, and who cares you touched my hips? When we see while looking back at the big moon with all its charm, you will hold me by the arm, I will jump around your neck. And beneath the trees, like towers, to the village we will go, our kisses then will flow, as sweet as the heaven flowers. And rhyming at the gate, in the darkness we will chatter, this is not something to matter, who cares that my love is great? One last kiss and left me sour, didn't know what I was feeling, how insane and how appealing was my sweet and blue-blue flower. Off you went, and my eyes burned, and our love died in an hour. Blue-blue flower, blue-blue flower, there is sadness in the world. Out of all the masts that sail far away when the sea raves, how many will be destroyed by the winds and by the waves? Out of all the birds that fly over lands with their wings, how many will be wiped out by the waves and by the winds? If you chase away your luck, your ideals and your aims, you will be followed everywhere by the winds and by the waves. And your thought remains unknown when you gently sing your hymns, but is carried all around by the waves and by the winds. Along the uneven row of poplars I used to stroll a lot, and I was known by all your neighbors, but you, you knew me not. Your window shining bright and good, I often stood and scanned, and everybody understood, you didn't understand. How many times I waited scared, a whisper would fly, a single day to know you cared, a day to end my sigh. At least an hour to be friends, and give our love a try, to listen how your voice ascends an hour, and then die. If from your eye you would have let a ray to fly afar to meet the coming ages net, it would have lit a star. You would have lived eternally, and many lives, I know, and with your cold arm suddenly you would have turned to snow. A face that many want to cherish, but nobody possess, except for fairies without blemish, who live in their recess. I loved you with my pagan eyes that strived in agony, which I had been given by my wise and distant ancestry. Today I do not feel ashamed that seldom walk that way. It is in vain you turned your head because I looked away. 
Because you are now like all the others. You walk and dress the same. I look at you, but my heart hovers. The eyes have lost the flame. You should have let yourself imbued with all that only charm, and lit the candle while you could, for love can do no harm. Forest, why are you so troubled? There's no wind and there's no rain, yet your branches are in pain. Yes, I'm troubled, you know why? Cause my life is passing by. Days are shrinking, nights are growing, and my leaves are quickly falling. Wind is blowing from the bay, chasing silly birds away. Wind is blowing without fear. Summer's gone, winter is here. How could I avoid to bow when the birds are leaving now? Of the branches in the sky, swallow flocks are flying high, and I'm watching them go by, knowing that my home will die. And are passing all the day, darkening the air away. And like seconds they are flying, with their wings the wind define. And they awake, I remain numb, whitened, and a little dumb, only with my own desire, which is burning me like fire. Stars in the sky above the bay burn and decay until they die. Up to the tips the masts are shaking, and all are trembling the wooden ships, each like a fortress floating in water to reach the border of wilderness. White cranes and clouds are soaring high into the sky on moving clouds. Leaving the shore to start a chase, flying with grace, and nothing more. A forest flower, the life goes by, young ages die when comes the hour. The luck will go on its own wings, if all the things are moving slow. Before I perish, angel, stand by, and she might cry for who I cherish. It is too bad to cast away this very day we have in hand. I am far away from you, watching the fire dance, thinking that in my life I've never had a chance. It seems I've lived too long, that eighty years have fled. I am as old as winter. I think that you are dead. The memories are flooding my soul like bitter rivals, reviving on my mind the past with all its trifles. The windows now are trembling because the wind is knocking. Sweet chains of life my mind is spinning and recalling. And then I see you passing, a phantom from the skies, with small and chilly hands, with tears in your big eyes. You cling around my neck, and I can see you're shy. You'd like to tell me something, but then you stop and sigh. I hug my only wealth of love and wonder things, with kisses we're joining our lives despite their stings. To silence all my thoughts in vain, I wish so bad. If only I could forget the good luck that I had. To leave behind that moment when you departed slowly. You will have been long dead. I will be old and lonely. What is love? It is a voice which gives us such a pain that not a thousand tears suffice and asks for more again. If only briefly you have met, it binds your soul forever, and if you try hard to forget, in vain is your endeavour. 
But if it's waking all the day in dark at secret places where lovers used to meet halfway and you want your embraces, heavens and earth become so blurred, your chest rises and falls, and all the things hand by a word half sad when love befalls. And you'll remember weeks and ends, her gait, and how she shuddered, how passionately you shook your hands, and how her lashes flooded, and luminous in the sky, the sun and moon together, watching your steps with careful eye, will shine on you forever. For this has always been your lot, to love, to have a bond, and now you feel like you've been caught by creepers in the pond. Each time, my love, when I remember about us, I see the ocean swelling and making such a fuss. Up in the whitish sky, there is no shining star, only the yellow moon that's watching from afar. About a thousand waves the icy ocean brings. A bird is flying high, flapping her weary wings. Her mate has flown away and headed to the west, together with the flock that knows which way is best. In vain she looks for him with pain in her small eyes. She's neither sad nor happy, because she slowly dies, just dreaming of her life and how it used to be. And very far apart we are now, you and me. Increasingly alone, my soul is dark and bleak, because you disappeared as quickly as a streak. If I had a pretty flower, fresh and sweet, and full of power, like all those that bloom in May, charming daughters of the day, Growing on a grassy field where the grass is moved by wind, and where people hear above gentle whispers full of love. If I had a little flower, nice and younger than the hour, dressed like lilies at their best, and white like the snowy breast, sometimes with a shade of pink, sometimes purple like a drink, like a song one hears above, soft like whispers, full of love. If I had a dove, as white as a girl's face, shining bright, a meek girl, a lovely thing, like a sunny day of spring, I would sing her all day long the traditional folk song, and the notes will rise above, soft like whispers, full of love. Being a lad, I used to roam the wood. Beside the spring, I often slept a while. With my right hand beneath my head, I stood to hear the water, to relax and smile. A gentle rustle passed from tree to tree, and a sweet smell each time made me rejoice. How many nights I spent alone and free, listening to the waves that seemed to raise their voice. The moon above is shining to my face. I see the heaven with my weary eyes. A silver mist is filling all the space. Flames of the water, flashes in the skies, a trumpet's playing, made of shiny brass. The sound gets closer, and I hear it well, on withered leaves and through the tall wind grass. I seem to hear the stags and feel their smell. The lime tree opens wide, or so it seems. A lovely queen steps out of it, so frail. My eyes were full of tears and full of dreams. Her forehead covered by a dense white veil. Her mouth was closed, and she had royal jeans, and walked as if asleep along the trail, touching the ground like fairies from above. She slowly came and looked at me with love. Oh, God, she was so nice. 
Her nose was thin, and only once in life a girl like this, a gentle angel with a shiny skin, may come on earth to offer me such bliss. Her hair was blonde and fastened with a pin. Her neck and shoulders waited for a kiss, and through the fancy clothes in the dim light, her wondrous body looked so full and white.